Hi guys, my name is Firefire. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Witness. Now, what I want to do, I want to, um, I want to make a structure. So, of plans, should I say? I don't want to be all over the place. So, I want to tackle each obelisk one at a time and not just look around for environmental puzzles and do them bit by bit. So, what I want to do, I want to go back to the monastery obelisk and start on that um and try and finish that i want to try to i do want to try and get one obelisk done an episode and i did miss actually the secret ending in uh the cabin over there somewhere i wonder if you can actually see it from this island hmm but yeah we are definitely going to go back there in the next few episodes maybe before we finish every puzzle maybe not but we're definitely going to go back there and check that out because I don't want to miss anything. I want to get that. I want to see it. I want to see the secret ending. And Gmod reminded me of the numbers that we need. So we need 120, 523 or 525. So we're pretty close to that. But I think if we do the environmental puzzles and obelisk, we might see puzzles that we have missed. We can always look at the lake as well to see if we've missed any triangle puzzles, um, to see where the obelisks are, because I have no idea where some of the obelisks are. I've started some of them, but I have no idea where they are. So I think this one over here is the one over there, the town obelisk. Um, that must be the monastery. I have no idea where this one is. And there's one more which I cannot see. We've got a uh, triangle puzzle here, which is mm, either in the town or just a bit further than the town. Got a triangle puzzle here. So we can use this to sort of map out our plan. But yeah, I do want to start with the monastery obelisk. We've done quite a bit of it already. And uh, I think we might as well just finish it, right? Might as well just finish it. So we are already here actually, so that's pretty good. I do know, I do know there's two at these stairs that we need to do. And I didn't manage to do them last time. So if we look over here, we've got these two right here. And you can see this face is pointing towards this. So you know it's to do with this. Okay, so we can actually see it from here. It's, it's like a, a U going that way. So last time we know it's to do with this one we know we've got to do that one and we've got to do this one here now it's all about positioning all about positioning so with the first one which i believe is this one you start by going to the right it looks like so you would have to use this bit somewhere so let's try and get in position for that and how can we do that can we walk up here no all right i feel like oh i feel like this could work hmm. oh okay yeah maybe like this no, because the leaf, the green leaf is blocking it. Maybe like that? No. Mm. All right. It's not even lighting up. <laughs> it's not even lighting up a little bit. Um. Oh, it lights up there for some reason. Okay. I don't know why that was happening. Lovely. First bit done. Now we got to do this one right here, which I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it goes to the left first. I can't really see it from there, but I do remember it when I was looking at it before. So it looks like it goes this way. So now we've got to figure that out. All right, so we've got to get to there. The only problem is is that if we move 
too much. The bush is coming away. I'm thinking I need to connect this with this bit. And... Um, actually, that looks, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty, pretty damn good. There we go. So, <laughs> that was nice and easy. Lovely. Let's go and check out what, we, what else we need to do. Okay, so... We literally have two more to do on this one. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. So this one is facing into the trees. Lovely jubbly. That's gonna be that's definitely gonna be a vines. Or oh, I say I say it's vines, it's it's the moss on the side of the trunk, tree trunk. And this one is facing that way so i'm guessing just like this one it's looking into the sky using the tree trees as a shape so let's take a look at this one okay so what shape is it <laughs> i already forgot the shape it sort of comes up and comes down So it's like, it's this one that comes up and then maybe comes down somewhere. There is a sharp down, but this is not it because there's two, there's bushes there. I don't think that's it. Ooh, that looks interesting. That definitely looks interesting. Something like, oh, I feel like it could be something like that. So if I'm a little bit quiet, just trying to, yeah, no, can't get into the view there. Hmm, what else could it be? But I really feel like it's this one here. Let's take a look again. Mm, I'm lost. I'm lost already. But then again, it's it's more that side. So, oh. Let's look up here. Let's look up here. That's a bit interesting round here, to be honest. You can kind of see some circles. That may not be it, though. Stuck in the bush there. Um, Oh, these noises. <laughs> they scare the hell out of me sometimes. I always forget that they're, they're there. Mm, that's going into the bamboo jungle. We don't want that. I don't believe we want that. Maybe it's not that one, is it? No, we did we did this one already. Yeah, we, we've done that one already. And that's just a straight line. We need to go up and down. Is it is it round here? Hmm. 
Mm. I think this one is the hardest one I've tried to find in this area. It's really, really difficult. I, w I want to leave this one to last, but either way, I'm going to have to do it. So, it might as well get it done now, right? Okay, let's let's try going, because there, there is another set of rocks over there. Let's try and go in there. Okay, let's go around. Okay, let's let's try up here. Hmm. Can I see anything? Hmm. Can't see through the bush. It's not gonna be out here, is it? No, it doesn't look like it's there. No, it doesn't look like it's here. But I need to, because I do miss a hell of a lot of things. <laughs> I need to start being a lot more cautious about where I'm looking, because I feel like I miss a lot of... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I feel like I miss a lot of things. See, this looks like it should be it. But it's hard to get that circle together. Mm. How am I going to get that circle together? Because I, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, look at this. There's green on that leaf. Okay. Okay. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. There we go. All right. Let's get back to that monolith. Back to monolith. Let's get back to the obelisk. And um, check out what our last bit is. Okay, so... This is the last one. This is the last one. And then this obelisk is complete. So this is in the in the forest area. Oh, in that direction. And we believe it's, it's similar to this kind of puzzle, which if you remember, was in the sky. So it must be we must have to look up somewhere it's like a it's like a round circle as well so i feel like it's got something to do with this one i really feel like it's got something to do with this one i could be absolutely wrong which i most likely am but i'm gonna take a look anyways and try and figure this one out okay and the reason why I think it's this one is because it's like a circle. Oh, we're going to have all these um, noises, ain't we? Let me just double check around here. I think this is a really, really unique puzzle. Um... No, so that's the one that we did already. Okay, cool. So you can kind of see that, can't you? I feel like this bit 
can be starting area. We get the right angle. Mm. Let me just double check down here, make sure there's nothing here. No, nah, it doesn't look like it's going to be there. Okay. Where could it be? Where could it be? Hmm. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it's here. Like it? No, nope, doesn't look like it's there either. What about if I? Is there a way up here? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be up. Nah, it's not gonna be up there. Hmm. Okay, let's. I want to try and find some sort of vantage point where you don't really notice it because I feel like they kind of hide things like up here, so to speak. Um, you see, look at, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's definitely a starting point. All right. Now we just got to line everything up perfectly. Mm. That's looking pretty good to me. There we go. There we go. Oh man. I was worried we wouldn't be able to do that in this episode. All right, so we've made it. Why? The monolith. Um, why do I keep calling it monolith? Maybe because I'm at the monastery. The um, monastery obelisk. I finally got it out. All right, so since we've done that, we've, we've done that pretty quickly because we didn't have many. We're going to quickly pop over to the lake. Um, just to double check that, that is up. And then there was a, a puzzle, not puzzle, environmental puzzle that I looked at before in a few episodes ago and I couldn't get it working. And I believe that's because I just wasn't in the right position, which is normally the case with me. I'm not always in the right position. In fact, most of the time I'm in the wrong position. So I really want to take a double look at that and see if we can get that working before the end of the episode. But let's just take a look over here. And yep, I think, ah, that's weird. Was it this one that came up or is it that one? I thought this one was already up. Hmm. So this is definitely the town, right? Is this the monastery then? You know what, I have to check the uh, when I'm editing. Because then maybe, if I can find out which one's the monastery, I can maybe, maybe make bearings of where I am and what I'm doing. Because I thought that would be the monastery, but if that's not, that must be a shipwreck one. And I have not seen that one yet. So I have no idea where that is. That's the one for the mountain, I'm guessing. And that's this one here, the town. Okay, cool. So we will figure that out. We will figure out, we will map out this lake. All right, let's go and look at this one over here. So a while back I saw this tractor or some sort of machinery in which uh, just before this symmetry island bit 
in which I thought was an EP, but when I tried to do it, nothing was happening. But obviously, that's because I don't do it good enough. See, I thought it was this. I thought it's easiest that, but obviously it's not. But I do think it's a puzzle. Now, could this black and yellow squares be blocking it? Oh, look, and as you move away, it turns more and more yellow. So how far do I need to go for it to be fully yellow? That's smart. Look at that. Look at that. They're smart. They're so sly. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So that, okay, so that was one of the town obelisks. Nice. And also, one more thing to check out. One more thing to check out is Brendan said, I need to unlearn a puzzle. And that got me thinking. That got me thinking. It's over here in the town, uh, in the town, in the starting area. And what I believe, and I don't know if this is right, but what I believe is that that's an EP. That's part of the um, environmental puzzle of these leaves. Now, I need to connect these leaves with that one. When you complete a puzzle, whoops, let's do this. Say I, mm, oh, first you gotta know how to do a puzzle. Say I complete this puzzle like this. It goes white and it's first blue. But say, for example, I did this. This is just a test. You see, it goes yellow, which is the same color as this. So that's unlearning the puzzle. That's getting the puzzle wrong on purpose. So now, now we need to get it into the one we had it in before. This one right here. And then we need to get this done. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, this is why I need your hints. Because I'm useless alone. <laughs> I'm useless alone. So I need to make sure well, I need your help to make sure I can get things done. All right, hang on a minute. That's a funny shape. That no cloud is like this naturally. Um. Oh look, no way. <laughs> but I love this game. This game surprises me every time I find something new. Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right. I'm sure there's so many more in here. I'm sure there's so many more in here. I do want to quickly look around because when I've, when I've been walking up and down here, I have been thinking, this looks like an ending point. And this looks surprisingly like many other puzzles. And then you got a big bit here, which can obviously be turned into a circle. And knowing knowing the devs of this game, they use every possible thing they can use to make a puzzle. So I just want to check this out. I could I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But you know what? I don't think I am wrong in this case. Even this looks like an ending point, but I have no idea where that's going to start. Okay, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hopefully they go into the town. Because that is definitely going to be the next episode to finish the town puzzles. And then we've got to find 
where the other obelisks even are before we start doing them. I don't want to do the mountain obelisk yet. I feel like that's going to be a big one. So I want to get the town so if we did that one, there's going to be another one there and we've got that one there, which we definitely need to use the boat for, for both of them actually. Um, I did see on this obelisk that there's like a, I'll show you, I have to show you, I can't describe it. So with this obelisk over here, you got these and it's pointing over there. So that looks like it's the top of that. So I don't know how we're going to get that. Maybe by the boat as well. Maybe all of these are on the boat. These two are mostly on the boat. This again is over. These were on the windmill. Not the windmill, the laser. So these are over there somewhere. Maybe some up there. I haven't even started on these ones yet. There's nothing there. That one's done. And this one. Mm, again, maybe a boat. That's not a starting point, is it? No way that's a starting point. Why does it look like that's an ending point? And you can use the dark side of these rocks. Oh, I'm seeing I'm seeing lines everywhere. <laughs> I'm literally seeing lines everywhere. And with that, guys, with that, thank you very much for joining me on this episode. And I will see you on the next one where we take on the town obelisks and try to complete it really. I, I really do want to try and get an obelisk done each episode. So that leaves another three episodes doing obelisks. And I'm guessing a lot of the environmental puzzles will be done when we finish all the obelisks. So we're getting quite a few done. There's only 135 of these. So we've got about 50 left, give or take some. My math is really bad, but we've got about 50 left. So yeah, I shall see you on the next episode. Peace.